tell of three new holy altars sanctified to hold communion how wide-eyed in awe beholden people knelt in heartfelt union to this new heart-touching glory spaced and lit so beautifully held on perbeck marble columns slim and slender as a lily now as people started to move down from the town on the hill and new street and high street started to get their vast tenants people were in a state of anticipation of what their new cathedral were a going to look like they'd seen the vast sections of wall rise steadily over five years and from a distance it looked like no church they had ever seen in september of twelve twenty five bishop richard poor we his archbishop stephen langton attended and consecrated for holy service three altars to saint stephen to saint peter and to the holy trinity and all saints thereby opening to worship the thus part of the new cathedral that slim and slender chapel at the very east end of the building what we call the trinity chapel we perhaps the first parts of the much higher walling of the choir still being raised beyond it if any one wanted to know how the wall building were a going to work out they need look no further no space like it had yet been built in england here was no crypt of darkness with its altar lit by a small window light and candles this was what is best called a hall church a space not particularly large but with such height and lightness of touch with delicate vaulting and tall straight lancet windows filled with stained glass that it feels perfect a structure this upheld on single pillars of purbeck marble it seemed hardly possible but there it were so gentle so beautiful <laughs> 